Am I the asshole for not letting my sister use my pool after she and her kids insulted my family? I, 28 female, am a mother of two and engaged to my partner of five years, 30 male. My kids are three and five years old, and neither of them are my partner's children. I am four months pregnant with a third baby, who is his biological child. There was never any cheating, and everyone involved is aware of all of this. When we started talking about moving in together, we agreed that we would move in with him and he put me on the deed, meaning we have equal equity in the house despite me paying a fraction of what he did. My siblings and I grew up poor and I only met my partner and got to the point I'm at because I got a combination of scholarships and grants for his university. All of this has given my siblings a lot to tease me over. I don't mind it most of the time, but there have been times I've had to shut it down. My sister, 36 female, has two kids, ages 4 and 6, with her husband. She and her husband were a few hours away, but last year they moved near us. With lockdown, I suggested that she bring her kids over to use our indoor pool. All four kids got on well, and my sister and I got to talk, so the arrangement was working. Additionally, the four-year-old has a knee thing which means the best thing for him is swimming, so this had considerable health benefits for him. Then just before Christmas they came over. I made my partner a drink and brought it to him, and she made a snarky comment about me being his maid. This led to a passive-aggressive conversation about our income and lifestyle and the visit was cut short. Then she brought her kids over again earlier this month. I don't know what happened exactly, but my kids came up to me, sobbing, saying their cousins called them bastards and me a gold digger. My sister was with me and said her kids were just joking. I asked her where they learned those jokes and she said they probably figured it out themselves. I said that even if that was the case, which I doubt, they should still apologize to my kids. She responded that they were only teasing, and I said they were being brats and I expect an apology. My sister got them to apologize and left. Considering that this was the visit following the one where my sister and I had that passive-aggressive conversation about my income, I am confident that they did not, figure it out themselves, rather that my sister either said it within their earshot or to them directly and they copied her. She's now called me asking to use the pool. I've said no. I'm fine with my siblings teasing me, as we're all adults, but her kids calling my kids bastards, joking or not, was unacceptable. She said her kids were only joking, they've apologized, and they really enjoy coming to my house and it's helping the four-year-old. I said they shouldn't be praised for apologizing, and after this I don't think I want to put my kids in that position again. She said that I was being a selfish, privileged arsehole by punishing her kids for something they've already apologized for and accused me of thinking I was better than her and our other siblings. I said that if she respected anything about my life, we would not be having these issues, and she said I was blowing this out of proportion and being a complete arsehole by holding this over them and being willing to affect the four-year-old's health. I'm concerned I'm in the wrong due to the four-year-old's health issues and the fact that the kids apologized and this was a first offense, so I feel I should give them some leeway. Not the asshole I expect your sister has been bad-mouthing you behind your back, in earshot of your kids. Not the asshole. They figured by themselves, was a really good moment to expel you sister from your house. She not only is bad-mouthing you ih her children eardrops, she still insult you again. Kids don't call other kids BSTRDS or describe their aunt as a gold digger without having heard that language used more than once by adults they trust their parents. The kids' behavior and language is bad, yeah, but the real problem is your sister. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. At four and six, they did not, figure it out by themselves, that's a load of garbage. They were clearly parroting what they've heard your sister say. The fact that your sister's first response was to call it, Joking, instead of disciplining her own children tells me that she was frantically trying to defuse the situation lest the truth of how her kids came to know those terms came out. Placing that in context with the earlier conversation with your sister about income and lifestyle and her follow-up after the incident with the kids calling you a privileged arsehole, and yeah she's absolutely been saying this stuff behind your back, either to her kids directly or where they could clearly hear it. Absolutely not the asshole. You owe it to your kids to protect them from bullying. Your sister can use this as a teachable moment for her kids. If they're horrible to other people, those people won't give them nice things. Not the asshole. Your sill is trying to pass of comments that her kids most likely heard from her as jokes. They are not jokes. They are extremely harmful comments that absolutely should not be repeated in front of your children. 
parents model behavior and kids imitate them. There's only one place a four and six year old would have heard these kind of comments about you and your children, and that's their parents. Your sill is upset because her bad mouthing behind your back in front of her children has had a consequence that she doesn't like. She is the one who owes an apology, not the kids. I am four months pregnant. This is enough, not the asshole. No, I am joking, read the whole story. They had their chance to use your pool. And paid back with insult. You had right to make this decision and I think, it was right decision too. Sometimes one must break some, family dishes, and the reaction of your sister was very meaningful. All best wishes for your baby to be. Edit. One thing. You don't punish the other children. You protect your own children. With your sister's reaction it is obvious, that the kids learned this words home and would not be seriously punished for it. It would be a question of time, and the situation would repeat. So wait, are you a maid, or privileged? Not the asshole. Your sister is a mean and nasty person and you are right to cut her off. Not the asshole it's very rude of her to do this and allow her kids to be so disrespectful. I'm a bit curious how you've been together five years and have two kids that aren't his and with no cheating involved. Not the asshole, her kids picked that language up from somewhere, and it's pretty obvious where they got it from. If she's going to badmouth you in front of her kids to your back, she doesn't get to have the privilege of using your stuff. That's simple. Until they can demonstrate that they've made amends, and not just use cheap cheap words, their privileges have been revoked. If they want them back, they gotta earn them back. NTA. She taught them that. She told them to say it to your kids. She is a jealous asshole. She can buy her own pool for her kid. Not the asshole. Those children learned that language from somewhere most likely your sister. It's the height of hypocrisy for your sister to judge your lifestyle while enjoying the fruits of your and your husband's labor. Bullying is a one-strike offense. Even with an apology they aren't entitled to come to your home and look down on you and mistreat your kids. Info. How can you have two children of three and five years in a five-year relationship which are not his? Sperm donor. Not the asshole. Your sister is massively. Her four and six yo learn that language from her and her husband discussing you. This is not an assumption. I'll take this to the bank. Her and her husband talk badly about you behind your back and the kids are repeating it. This is never acceptable. Your sister and her husband owe you a huge apology. The health issue of their kid is their problem, not yours. Her children obviously overheard her saying that you were a gold digger and that they were bastards. If anyone is owed an apology, it's from her to to you. And a sincere apology at that. But I don't think one is coming. She is clearly jealous of what you have and the only way to make herself feel better is to denigrate you in your own home and call you a maid and criticize your finances. That is unacceptable behavior. You are not the asshole. Don't let her guilt trip you with the four-year-old's health. The only concession I would make is allowing her to drop him off at your house for a couple of hours to swim. Not the asshole it's okay to love your siblings and tease each other about little insignificant things. Like, you think your kids gonna poop themselves in the van like you did when you were their age, type teasing. It's no longer teasing when it concerns your lifestyle and children. The health of her child is her responsibility and the use of your pool was a privilege, not a right. She'll explain to him that his condition worsening is your fault because you won't let them use the pool again, but ultimately it's her fault for ruining the relationship between you two. She really screwed the pooch on this one, you got nothing to feel guilty about. Not the asshole, her kids are four and six, they heard gold digger and bastard from her and her husband likely. NTA. How would they even know what those things mean? Your sister and her husband must have been talking in front of them or to them. That's not teasing, that's jealous bullying. Why would you want such unpleasant bitter people in your pool? Not the asshole, your sister's toxic and is teaching her toxicity to her kids. Let her stay bitter and angry if that what she wants to do. It was literally your sister's actions that led to this, not your reaction to those actions. Four-year-olds think a gold digger is a miner digging for gold and that bastard is a bad word to call people. There is no way they, figured it out on their own, they heard her saying it and repeated it. Not the asshole. I have a sister like this. Constantly trying to pull. Me down for what she sees as my, luck, ignore the 80 hour working weeks and constant travel as I climb the ladder it was just luck that I have nice things. Don't speak to her now as I couldn't be bothered with the bile. 
NTA, your job is to protect your kids. These type of snide comments can leave lasting impacts on a child. Her kids are probably parroting what they heard their mother say. Not the asshole. In fact you are actually better than her and her children. Not the asshole. Those children obviously picked those words up at home. Your sister's bitterness and bad attitude has blinded her from seeing what a heartfelt opportunity you were providing to her and her family. I'm sorry they took your kindness so lightly. It shouldn't be the kids that apologize. It should be your sister. Clearly she is the source for the words that the kids hurled at your kids. Conversely speaking I would find it tough to be mad at a four and six year old. Not the asshole. But your sister is. Not the asshole. First of all, none of this is teasing. Teasing is much more innocuous, this is verbal attacks by your siblings and your sister specifically. You have allowed your family to insult you and your children too many times. For your entire family's mental health, please distance yourself from all of them. They do not respect you, your work, your partner, nor your children. They are the selfish ones and feel entitled to use you and then verbally abuse you. Please work on understanding your own worth and avoiding these people. She said I was blowing this out of proportion and being a complete arsehole by holding this over them and being willing to affect the four-year-old's health. Your children are your priority, your nephew's health is your sister's responsibility. She has other physical therapy options for him. She's been making passive-aggressive comments to you for a while and not-so-subtle statements in front of her children. There is no reason for you to tolerate that, not even the unwanted teasing about your lifestyle. Not the asshole. I remember my best friend at school calling me a bastard when I was six years old. I was so confused. She was horrified. Later learned that her parents had been talking about my family around her. It made me so sad. Not the asshole. If she's going to be responsible for putting these evil thoughts and judgments in her children's heads, you can be responsible for defending your children and home. Not the asshole also, you need to protect your kids from this. I am the son of a single mother, whose father was never in the picture. Literally the most painful memory I have is when I was around 7 years old and a group of kids in the private, religious, school I went to, all started calling me a b-starred and my mother a whore. I literally didn't know what the words meant, and had to ask my teacher. It never stopped until I left that school. Anyways, just like these kids learned from their parents, so did the ones in my life. If you don't separate your kids from this, it's going to stick with them, and it's going to hurt. I'm a 30-year-old married man now, and I still have a slight twinge whenever someone calls someone a b-start around me. So she has her kids insult your children and your living situation but still wants to benefit from it? Yeah not the asshole this could also be uploaded to choosing beggars. Absolutely not the asshole. Your sister is being complicit in your nephew, niece's bad behavior. It's nice of you to be considerate about the 4 y o's knee issue, but that isn't your problem. You've been gracious enough to provide a space for your sister and her kids, and she couldn't respect your opinion on the matter enough to do anything about it. Not the asshole. I'm concerned I'm in the wrong due to the 4-year-old's health issues and the fact that the kids apologized and this was a first offense, so I feel I should give them some leeway. It's not your responsibility to care for her kids' health issues. She was the asshole and is trying to guilt trip you. Info. How did your 5 and 3 year old understand them words enough to be upset by them? Not only do I think your sister told her kids them things, I think she explained negatively what they meant. She. Accused me of thinking I was better than her and our other siblings. We don't know your other siblings, op, but you are much better than this particular sister. Your sister is small minded and jealous, pea green with envy. This may never change. You'll need to keep her at a polite, or total, distance. If your sister tried hard enough, she could probably find another place for her four-year-old to swim, or could get him physiotherapy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Those children didn't figure out anything for themselves and likely have no clue what, bastard, and, gold digger, mean. Whilst it is great that the children apologized, your sister owes you, your husband, and your children an apology because this most likely came from her. She is obviously resentful of your life and, like many resentful individuals, can only find negative reasons for why your life is what it is. It has nothing to do with your hard work and good luck. You are a gold digger because the reason she doesn't have your life is because she is morally superior. 
people are weird, can't be happy for others, can't allow others to have lives that are no reflection of their own and make every problem they've caused someone else's fault. Not the asshole your sister has some serious jealousy issues and sounds to be very envious of your life. She's likely saying atrocious things behind your back, obviously enough so her own kids believe it. I'm sure she tells a totally different story any time visits are cut short. It's like you always overreacting. She is the one with a problem and yes being a complete jerk has its consequences. I think for the time being until you see a real improvement, distance is crucial. She clearly has no respect for you, your husband, your life and your children. Not the asshole. As for trying to guilt trip you over her four-year-old's health issues what was she edoing to help the kid before she moved near you in the indoor pool? Not the asshole. Those kids aren't old enough to figure that out and there is no way in hell they know what it means they heard their mom making fun of your family. Stop inviting her over. Not the asshole it seems your sister is jealous of you and seems to be the culprit for where her kids learn such phrases. At six and four they have no one else to really learn these things from. Not the asshole. Look up the local YMCA pool that is nearest to them, and send your sister directions. Not the asshole but put the blame where it's due. This isn't the kids, it's your sister. While I get that you don't want to punish your kids it's your job as a mom to protect your own before anything else. Not the asshole your sister is so jealous, it's so obvious. NTA yeah, the kids didn't, figure it out by themselves they 100% repeated what they heard their mom or dad say. Yes, a six-year-old knows the term gold digger and bastard in regard to kids out of wedlock. They have been insulting you in front of the kids while wanting the benefit of your gold digging, not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm going to call bullshit on a four and six year old, figuring it out for themselves. Kids that age don't know what bastards and gold diggers are unless they explicitly hear those terms being used to refer to someone else. Even then they probably still don't know what it means, but kids are parrots and will repeat anything. Not the asshole. Where in the world besides your sister would kids that age have picked up, bastards, and, gold digger? Not the asshole. You're being selfish about your pool, at your house. Well then, how about she stop feeling entitled to use your pool then? Also, she's well aware of her four-year-old's knee problems. It's not like swimming at your pool is the only way to help. This shouldn't be your concern when it means your kids are going to be ridiculed like this. Not the asshole. Of course they learned that language and opinion from your sister. And apology or no, I'd be mortified if my 4-6 year old said things like that. Not the asshole. Kids are smarter than we give them credit for, but the only way a 4-6 and six year old, figure out, what a gold digger and bastard are is if a, someone tells them or b, someone is saying those things with an earshot. This is absolutely not something children those ages would think to ask about or google, even if they are advanced spellers. Your sister or her husband, or both, are definitely trashing you guys with an earshot. If they think so little of you, you are well within your rights to not want them in your home. Not the asshole wow. Little people do not learn these words on, their own, they are taught these words at home. Your poor babies do not need this toxic ant around them and unfortunately that means her kiddos too. Please do not feel guilty because of your nephew's condition. If his mom put him first she would have watched her mouth and never spewed such god-awful stuff to those children. Your children need you to put them first, if you give the other children, leeway, because it's the first offense. Well how many tears of your babies are you willing to dry before you put your foot down? A child's home is their, safe place, they will have plenty of ugly out in the world and in school. Please don't diminish that.